Hi, fourth graders. So today for the reading, you're going to need your language arts notebook, uh, glue stick, pencil, coloring supplies, and your idiom sheet. Pause the video if you need more time to gather those materials. Okay, so today I actually have some examples I want to look at before we do our definition. Okay. So, we're not going to write down all of this stuff, okay? I'll tell you what we need to write down. So, I've got some examples on here. I'm going to start with this one. Alright, it's called, I Finished My Homework. I finished my homework. It took me all night. I tried to make sure I got everything right. I read every chapter the teacher assigned. My eyes grew so uh, bleary, I nearly went blind. I studied each problem until my eyes burned. Researched each detail, leaving no stone unturned. I finished my reading and got out my pen and pulled up a chair and uh, at my desk in the den. I answered each question. I checked every one. I wrote out my essays. At last, I was done. By eight in the morning, I had run out of fuel. I packed up my backpack and headed to school. I handed the teacher my homework, and then I noticed, embarrassed, I'd used the wrong pen. The teacher looked puzzled. I felt my heart sink. I'd used my trick pen with invisible ink. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Don't ever use invisible ink. Ms. Wells won't count it either. All right, so let's look through some of these phrases in here. There's a few that caught my eye. One that caught my eye was uh, leaving no stone unturned. So when he was doing his homework, was he actually like flipping stones over? No, he wasn't, right? He wasn't out there actually flipping stones over. What? What's he, what does he mean by that? I think it means like if you look under every stone, right? You didn't give up. You kept looking. Sorry. And another one I wanted to point out was I had run out of fuel. Now, is he actually like a car or a robot and runs on like gasoline, runs on fuel? No. What does he mean by that? I'm exhausted. I used all my energy, right? And then the last one. I felt my heart sink. Is his heart actually moving down his body? No, no, I think back to like Moby. His heart wouldn't actually sink like Moby's would if it, we had told Moby to do that. What does he, the author mean by that? I think teacher looked puzzled and I felt my heart sink. I felt my heart kind of drop like, oh, I was so like shocked. Like, oh no, just like mortified, right? So when you feel your heart sink, we might say that to show that you're so mortified, so beyond embarrassed, or you feel really bad about it. Yeah, these are all examples. Did you catch what I mentioned before, like Moby? These are all examples of idioms. So let's look back at our definition. An idiom. These are phrases that mean something different than what you say. An example is, it's raining cats and dogs. It can't actually rain cats and dogs out of the sky, can it? No, it means it's raining a lot. Some of the ones in here were, felt my heart sink. Hearts don't actually sink, do they? No, they don't. I got one more poem for us to look through. This one is really silly. Foolish Fiona. It's to load. Okay. Foolish Fiona. This morning when Foolish Fiona awoke, she looked at her mother and said with a croak, I can't go to school, so please write me a note to tell them I'm home with a frog in my throat. Her mom wrote a note for the teacher that said, My daughter is sick and she's staying in bed. She won't be at school for the rest of the week. She swallowed a polywog down at the creek. <laughs> so the idiom in here is 
a frog in my throat. Frog in my throat. Kind of feels like something's almost jumping around. It feels really tight and swollen. It means I got a sore throat. Okay, so if next time you have a sore throat, you can use the idiom, got a frog in my throat, to, to show people that uh, your throat is feeling sore. All right, so looking back here, that's another example frog in my throat we could write. So pause the video if you need to finish writing the definition or your examples. Then pick a circle over one of your examples and illustrate your picture. Make sure to upload a picture of your idiom page to Mrs. Wells when you are done. I can't wait to see you which phrases you pick. Bye.